the next story we want to share with you is one that will surely leave you with goosebumps. It's a journey that, for one Milford man, changed his life. Here's the deal. Don Rourke knew that he was adopted. So he went on a years-long mission to find his birth mother and what he found along the way. Well, I'll tell you what, we are just going to let Don Rourke himself tell you the rest of the story. Thank you so much for joining us today in Historic Studio D. My pleasure to be here with it's both wonderful of you. Have, okay, so take us back to the beginning. You were born in a small town in Georgia. Right, in a small rural town in Georgia. When I was five months old, my mother gave me up for adoption. And as part of the adoption process, I moved to Savannah, Georgia, had a name change, and I knew nothing about anything that happened after my birth. My birth certificate from Georgia shows that I am the first child born to Lillian Riggs, and again, I knew nothing after that. Yeah. Um, when I was 18 years old, my father died, and at that point, I went through his personal paperwork, and for the first time, I found my adoption paperwork, and that's how I learned about being adopted. I had had a very happy childhood, so I had no interest in finding my mother at the time. I wasn't bitter about the whole thing, but I really had no interest. <laughs> now, I advanced on 65 years old, 10 years ago. I started in earnest looking for my birth mother because I wanted to see if I could find her. And based upon her age on the birth certificate, she conceivably could still be alive. Right. So I kept looking for her online, but I kept running into dead ends. I used Ancestry.com a lot. When I found the 1930 census where she was still living at home with her parents, but I could never find anything about her. So in a last ditch effort, I created a family tree for myself online, showing my name, my birth mother that I got from the adoption paperwork, and her parents that I got from the census report, and just put it out there to see if anybody would stumble across it. And for years, there was no response whatsoever. But then in January of last year, 2015, I got an email from a woman in Ohio saying maybe she could help me with information about Lillian, Lillian being my birth mother. Right. So after two days of wondering who this woman was and what she wanted, I responded back to her. She and I then exchanged a few more emails, and when we got comfortable with each other, we exchanged birth certificates. And both my birth certificate and hers show born in the same city, the mother living at the same street address, and the birth mother being the same person. And, th and this was from, from her seeing things that you put on, right. on Ancestry? As it turns out, she was looking for her older brother because she knew that I existed. Which was you. Which was me. Okay. I knew nothing about any younger sister because I had moved away from the scene. Right. But she was looking for her older brother because she had gone through the county records in Bullock County, Georgia, and found that where she was born and where her older brother, William Riggs, was born. Okay. William Riggs was my Had name you heard it. that name at that no. point? No. Oh, yes, I had because again, it was on my adoption paperwork. Oh, okay. So you knew that your name was William Riggs yes. when you were born. Yes, and then my birth mother's name Lillian Riggs, mm -hmm. an unwed teenage girl, but she was my birth mother. Oh my. So Mary spent 20 years looking for her older brother, not knowing, of course, my name had changed to Rourke, not knowing that I had moved to Baltimore to grow up and so on. Wow. But I spent about 10 years looking for my birth mother. She spent about 20 years looking for her older brother. And because we had the same birth mother being born in the same city and at the same address, our paths happened to cross on Ancestry.com. And you put two and two together. Yeah. So she contacted me, and then we exchanged birth certificates to make sure that we were re uh, really related. And it appeared at first that we were half brother and sister, because her birth certificate showed a father's name, whereas mine showed father unknown. So uh -huh. we didn't know who my father was. Okay. So Mary and I agreed to do a, a DNA test to confirm the fact that we were, we were really related with the swabbing of the cheeks. Right. And the result of the test came back showing a 99.8% probability that the two of us had the same two parents. Wow. How about that? So, so we're DNA. full blooded brother and sister. So the DNA test showed that you were indeed fully yes. related. Right. So and and you were keeping record, I mean, you, you were keeping, I guess, a scrapbook for yes. all intents and purposes of, of, of this whole process that was going on. Right. So, <laughs> what was it like when you realized this was your sister? I mean, tell me about that. that. Well, this is the first sibling I'd ever had, of course, and I thought yeah. it was neat. I wasn't quite sure what to do with a sister that I didn't know. <laughs> but my wife and I made it a point to drive out to Cleveland, Ohio, where she lived, to meet her and her family. They're very hospitable, friendly. She's a dear person. And then we're getting to know each other, of course, as time goes by. But the story doesn't stop there. No. And then she and I teamed up to still look for our birth mother, because we were both looking for Lillian Riggs. Right. And we found out through sources that she had moved, gotten married to a guy named William Wooten, and they moved to central Michigan to a town called Mount Pleasant. Yeah. And I was looking for, uh, we also understood that she had lived there and died and was buried there. So I went online looking for cemeteries in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, found the one where she's buried, 
have a picture of her headstone. Yeah. I called the cemetery to see if there was a next of kin listed on of record, and there was. A guy named Glenn Wooten, who's this is her son. Wait a minute, who's Glenn? If it's her son. Her son. That means he's my brother. Oh my goodness. And so Mary, there's a third one. And that's Glenn, yes. So now Mary and I have a brother living in Tacoma, Washington. Oh my goodness. Wow. Now you were telling me that this is where you actually first Right, that's the, 19, that's the 1930 census for Statesboro, Georgia, in Emmett, Georgia, which is Bullock County. Right. So that's from the, first, the oldest record I could find of my mother. Right there. She was born in 1926, yeah. so she appeared in the 1930 census, living in Georgia with her parents. How about that? But you found out that your mo mother was no longer living. Right. And she's buried in Michigan, like I say. So now, I was given up for adoption at five months old. Mary comes along one year later. She's also given up for adoption. So all three of the siblings were raised by different parents in different states. Hmm. That's my amazing. And goodness. what brought it all together was the fact that I was looking for my mother, Mary's looking for her brother, and our paths crossed on Ancestry. Okay, so tell us about when you all finally got to meet. It was fantastic. Glenn, uh, Glenn and Mary both are very loving, caring, generous people, and the three of us just hit it off so well. Wow. That was in September, and in November earlier this month, I went back to Seattle again for another weekend to meet Glenn again just to talk to him and get to know him. And Mary was supposed to join us, but she had other conflicts, so she couldn't make this trip. But we do want to include Mary in the future meetings because right. she is the catalyst that brought the three of us together. So, so where... What now? Yeah. Another trip together. <laughs> have you got one planned already? Glenn, Glenn is the only one of us that's still working, so we have to work around his schedule because <laughs> he's the baby in the family. <laughs> <laughs> that is an incredible story. Yeah. Mr. Thank you Rourke, so much for coming on pleasure. and telling it. Uh, absolutely, my pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank wow. you. That's incredible.